Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellen Gormley. Please like and subscribe so I don't forget to say it later. <laughs> welcome back. So in the other day, I did a little video about this gorgeous yarn. Um, I think I have four or five hanks of it and I wanted to make a shawlette and I wanted to do Tunisian. So I was looking at some stitch patterns from this book by Darla Fanton. And one of the stitch patterns that I talked about was this diagonal eyelet stitch, which I was thinking maybe it would be hard to increase or decrease to make it a triangular shawlette. And I, um, you guys commented, which I really, really appreciate, please continue to comment, about how maybe this wouldn't look so great in a multicolored yarn. So I got to swatch in today. And so I did one... I took one, um, a multicolored yarn and one repeat to practice learning the stitch. And I found that just one repeat made it really hard to figure out, <laughs> but I did. I got the hang of it and I got, I understood it and it's all was well. And then I thought, okay, I'm not sure I'm liking the multicolored yarn. Let's try using a bigger um, multiple. So I did a bigger multiple and I, until I figured out the pattern and saw that it really was coming together and it, the pattern was accurate in the book and I made a couple notes to myself to understand it better. And I figured out how to increase it because I got bored. <laughs> um, at this point, I got bored. So I was like, oh, maybe I should figure out how to increase it. So I figured out how to increase it. And you can basically only tell because of these uh, diagonals here. And so the stitch pattern really got lost. So it really made me think that I love this yarn too much to use it with this stitch pattern. So I got out some solid colored yarn. Now this is one of the colors from my Karen Ogo donut thing. And um, I really like it. Now this is a worsted weight yarn and it would look probably pretty darn fantastic in a DK weight yarn or even a smaller yarn and it could be a really gorgeous um, top, a tank top or a shell type top. Um, it's got great drape even with this worsted weight and a K size Tunisian hook. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, show you what I was thinking and where I'm going with this. So um, even though I know how to increase it, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I could have still made it a shawlette. <laughs> Pardon me when I was pulled out my Ogo and I was thinking about like the different colors. I was thinking it was just going to be a long scarf. It it didn't even cross my mind to go ahead and start making it a shawlette, which I totally could still do. <laughs> but at this point, I'd have to start over, maybe start with one repeat like I did and immediately start um, increasing. So it would be this wide at the bottom without a point. I would probably just do one repeat. Or if I did start with a point, it would probably be all Tunisian simple stitches, but then it probably would curl up. So it might be like a shawlette without a point. And then this is just like the narrowest part at the very bottom at the back. So, gee, now what do I, <laughs> what am I going to do? Am I going to start over again? Am I going to start over again and make it a shawlette? I might. Oh my goodness, this is confusing. I went, I don't know why. I kind of had a design tunnel vision that when I was using the Karen Ogo that it had to be a rectangle and it had to be like a scarf and my my brain put me in a box so this is very common for me and when I design things to have to go through several stages to let the idea evolve so let me know in the description below what you think also don't forget um, we're really close to 9,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please do, because at the 9,000 subscriber mark, we're doing a giveaway. Yay! And then we're doing an even bigger giveaway at the 10,000 mark. So please make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. And now I have to decide if I'm going to rip this out and start over or not. Oh, let me know what you think. And that's all. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.
Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ellen Gormley. I hope that you spent the last few minutes with a relaxing and valuable use of your crochet time. If you've not seen the last video, click up here if you've got a few more minutes. If you have seen it, here's another one I think you might really like. But everybody, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. See you next time.